Hello, my name is Madeline Habib. My team and I are from the University of Central Florida in Orlando at the Prototype Research Development and 3D Printing Lab, also known as PD3D. Today, I will be speaking about our paper on the design and optimization of patient-specific pediatric laryngoscopes. A laryngoscope is a medical instrument used to examine the larynx. It consists of a blade used to push down the patient's tongue and lift up the epiglottis. However, the issue is that there isn't a wide range of sizes and shapes of a laryngoscope blades for pediatric patients, especially in comparison to the adult range. But pediatric patients have diverse anatomical sizes and structures within their own age group. This can be the cause for neonates having the highest risk of intubation complications and abnormal airway can cause physicians to improvise what blade sizes to use. Also, accessibility and sterilization of medical equipment have become a critical concern in healthcare. However, it has been proven during this crisis that 3D printing has become essential in the production of medical devices. Therefore, with advancements in 3D imaging, modeling, and printing technologies, we are introducing a solution through the design and fabrication of patient-specific, single-use pediatric laryngoscope blades at the point of care. This process will provide not only the addition of variable sizes of blades for pediatric patients, but specifically modeled based on each patient's anatomical structure. Build paths for modeling the laryngoscope fitted a curve where the curvature of the blade was used to compare the age, weight, and height of patients. Based on our findings, the greatest correlation was found between patient height and curvature, then weight and curvature. Therefore, we've concluded that height may be a better parameter when classifying and selecting laryngoscope blade sizes. It is interesting because in industry production standards, weight is the current parameter for selection. The Verathon Galitoscope Spectrum series has three different pediatric sizes within the low-pro family. From our results, the variability in airway length shows that Verathon's classifications were for selection was based on weight and were inadequate. For example, patients in group two had 19 millimeter and 16.5 millimeter airways, which would be better suited for low pro S1 instead of S2, which extends past 29 millimeters. This shows that not only are laryngoscope blade sizes inadequately available, but perhaps the selection is at fault as well. Our methods for designing the blades was by obtaining anonymous CT scans of 15 pediatric patients. The procedure for each patient followed the same pattern which included the software Houdini to read and reconstruct the patient from the DICOM files of the CT scans and to then isolate the airway passage automatically. Using the extracted airway passage, build paths were created to construct a 3D model of the blade for fabrication. An outline of the path from the oral cavity to the epiglottis is produced, which is used to construct the patient-specified 3D printable blade. Using this set of algorithms and procedure allows the segmentation, reconstruction, and creation of the patient's airway and specified blade in a quick, automated way. Our technology is disrupting the standards on how we are currently selecting medical devices for patients, the design process by using patient's anatomy, and the fabrication method because we can now do it at the point of care. As shown on Verathon's size guideline chart when selecting laryngoscope blades for patients, selection is based off of weight. However, our method involves a possible change in how laryngoscope blades should be selected, and therefore there is a need to allow future work to expand our database to support the relevant correlations and to be able to print these blades for possible testing. There are different angles of how this method could be commercially viable. It shows a potential change in the medical equipment market as there is a huge business opportunity present in the way of positioning patient-specified medical device development, and not just with laryngoscope blades. We are evolving the way of the production of medical devices in real time as having single-use, patient-specified equipment reduces risks of infection and help decrease cost of buying multiple medical supplies that may never be used. Also, many hospitals do not have 3D printers, so we can potentially bring popularity and business partnerships with hospitals and 3D printing companies as they can supply these printers. Also, the automated software program that segments, reconstructs, and creates the patient-specified equipment can be a potential business approach that competes with industry standards software like Mimix and Slicer, which are more hands-on and manual approach.